Indians and White Sox AL Central showdown on Wednesday. Sean Markham held the White Sox down through two, but he would fall behind in the third from a rather unlikely source of power. Sean Markham, first time through the lineup, White Sox hitters one for nine against him. The pitch, and Eaton Sox one deep to right, and it's one nothing Chicago. That time he left the pitch out over the middle of the plate. And Adam Eaton hit a no doubt about it home run to the seats and right, his first of the year. Good pitch as he strikes out of Brayu. Well, he left that one pitch up to Adam Eaton, who hit the home run last inning. But outside of that, Sean Markham has been solid so far. We go to the seventh inning, and this ballgame is all tied up at a run apiece. All right, so here's Jason Kipnis. Sox, they're not really convinced maybe the Kipnis is going to bunt here yet. And bunts it up the third baseline. Nice. It stays fair. Throw to first. Close play. Got him by a whisker. Yeah, that was a dandy. Wow, that's a dynamite play by third baseman Connor Gillespie. And Jose Ramirez, the batter. You've got the go ahead run at third base. White Sox bring the infield in. Swing and a ground ball in the hole into left field. It's a base hit. That'll score. The go-ahead run. Hayes scores, born to third, and the big night for Ramirez continues. And the Indians have a two-to-one lead. But now the Indians with a chance to put a crooked number up. Yeah, Michael Brantley, the batter, and, and at least for now, Ventura will stay with Dan Jennings. And he ropes it down the right field line. That's headed all the way to the corner, and it's a fair ball. Up against the wall. Scoring is born. Ramirez coming around third. He'll be waved home. He scores two. Michael Brantley with a two-run double to right. And the Indians have scored three times here in the seventh to take a four-to-one advantage. And the bases are loaded with one out in the bottom of the ninth. Last three socks have reached two via the walk. Gillespie pops it up. That's in play. Playable for Chisenhall. And two down. That right there just switches the whole momentum. It gives uh, Cody a lot more confidence. Now Alexei Ramirez. Chops one slowly towards third. Chisenhall, no play anywhere. White Sox get a run in. It's a one-run game. Gonna get a pinch hitter for Tyler Flowers. It'll be the left-handed hitting J.B. Shuck. Swing and a miss. He struck him out to end the game as the White Sox leave him loaded. Indians win it 4-3 as the two teams have now split their eight matchups so far this season. Jose Abreu won for four to extend his hitting streak to 15 games. That is now the longest current streak in the majors. Carlos Rodon turned in six innings of one run ball for Chicago, but he did walk five as he settles for a no decision. Sean Markham six and two thirds of two run ball with six Ks as he picks up his first victory since June 26th of 2013.